serious? Are you serious? We got breaking news. Breaking news, folks. Very, very strong concerns about Japan and the crippled Fukushima power plant. I want to thank Nick of New York for two reports, and also want to thank BP Earthwatch uh, for his predictions based on the analysis of this X1.2 solar flare and the impact that we are feeling of CMEs that may have triggered the events that's taking place. First of all, breaking news. A 6.0 earthquake has just hit Japan. Where? Right where the Fukushima plant is. 6.0 earthquake just hit Japan right where the Fukushima power plant is. You say, well, that's not that big of a quake. Don't worry about it. Folks, hang on a minute. Because uh, here's a report also, Nick of New York just sent me, that Fukushima is in failure. Their ability to decontaminate the radiation, the system has stopped functioning. There it is, headline, coming right there out of Russia today. And now there is a major issue. The, they, can, they are starting to admit that this thing is melting down and they can't stop it. But wait, it's not over because the CMEs coming off the sun from the, uh, X, the solar flare, which was an X-class 1.2. Now, we've seen bigger ones than those, although that's huge. And if you've been to uh, seen any of the graphs. Matter of fact, I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. And the first news story at 5 a.m., breaking news, solar flares has canceled a space, uh, a rocket launch due to threat of CMEs. Now, that was this morning's breaking news. That's before the earthquake hit Japan. That's before I had any idea that we have a decontamination, decontamination problem with the radiation there at Fukushima. Now, yesterday, when this first happened, we found out about this. Uh, uh, BP Earthwatch uh, went and did some major, very quickly, strict analysis analyzation of the information that was coming. He predicted that we would be hit with a very strong CME. Now his prediction was 22 minutes off from NASA's prediction when they finally came out with theirs. But he said he was very concerned about earthquakes. I asked him directly, I said, could this cause an earthquake in the South Pacific? Because Based on when the, when the eruption happened on the, on the sun, and it was facing the earth when the eruption hit, these CMEs were headed toward the earth. Calculating the, the speed of the CMEs and the, rota and the direct impact toward the earth, where the earth was at at the moment of the impact, and where the earth would be after it spins around when by the time the impact gets there, he calculated that the direct hit would be in Japan and in the South Pacific, and he was very concerned of earthquakes. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you hear what he had to say, then I'm going to read to you what's going on with the uh, system failures in Japan and the earthquake, what it did when it hit today. Are you serious? Something biblical is going on. Listen to me when I tell you this. Jesus was asked the question, Can you tell us the signs of thy coming and the end of the world? His disciples privately asked him while he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, folks, the Mount of Olives. And Jesus looked at him and said, Look, there's going to be false Christ and false prophets shall rise, and they shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. And then he says this, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. Now he goes on to talk about in Joel 2, Acts 2, about the sun turning dark, talks about the mud, the, 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 the blood moons, and it talks about other things that would happen, uh, including fire and vapor of smoke, but certainly earthquakes are key. Here we go now. Here is BP Earthwatch uh, from his uh, video he did last night called X Flare is Now Impacting the Earth, and he predicts and to watch out for earthquakes. Check this out. January the 8th, 2014. Guys, we're starting to feel the effects of that flare. As I'm doing the video at 6.19 p.m. Central Time. Now, that's putting us um, 
now about 15 minutes before NASA's impact time. Remember, just after midnight night on the 9th, minus six hours central time. That's what we're looking at now. And as this magneto pause plays through, you notice the 8th at 1900 now in the UT at the top. That's your timestamp. Watch the compression start here. They told us uh, to watch for 4.5. And you see that, guys, 2200. It's going to go up to here. And we'll have our last frame come in just before midnight. And it hasn't been updated. See, that's only, we're only looking at uh, seven minutes plus here until uh, midnight. Now, they're saying at uh, 28 minutes after midnight UTC time, we should feel it. I'm, we're starting to see some of that impact now. I had said just at midnight in the video yesterday, but again, we're minus six uh, hours UTC time here central, but we're starting to see those effects. It's also time to watch for the quakes. I'm going to put a solar link up and a quake link to this, and I'm going to upgrade it as we watch it. We're just starting to see those effects now. It's a heads up. Be safe. So what, he, what happened here is... He's saying to you, I'm going to start watching for earthquakes now. Matter of fact, I'm even going to give you a link to where you can watch for them as well. This is in advance of the CMEs hitting the earth. Now, the earthquake that hit Japan, which is the first brunt of the CMEs, was, was calculated to happen. And what are the odds of it hitting Japan? It's the last place on earth we want it to hit right now because we have a crippled nuclear power plant that was hit by a massive earthquake of 8.9 uh, in March of 11 of 2011, which created a, a, a shook the earth for six minutes and, and brought a tsunami six miles inland and left six nuclear reactors melting down. Well, here's what it says in the report. It says the quake shook a wide region, including Fukushima. And uh, there was no risk of a tsunami, thank God, but the Japan Meteorological Agency is saying that the focus of the quake, which took place at 12.29 p.m. local. Now, Jesse just got done saying that the impact of the CME was going to hit at 12.28 local. Okay? Uh, and it hits at 12.29. Uh, Tokyo Electric Power Company says the operator of the Fukushima uh, plant... Um, says that uh, this the nuclear plant, which was crippled back in 2011, disaster, said it has received no reports of any fresh abnormal or uh, anything that may look strange, uh, but the destructive 9.0 earthquake and the ensuing tsunami that struck, of course, in almost uh, three years ago, setting off this nuclear crisis. So their initial report is, hey, we've had a 6.0 earthquake. It shook some stuff up. But we don't think there's been any problem. We don't see anything any more worse than what it was. Well, we can't believe them. It's been quite obvious. Their former uh, prime minister said that within five hours, they knew that Reactor 3 had melted down. Okay? But it was not released to the public. So when Fukushima Power Plant is already admitting that they have a system uh, functioning problem, for, as, as it relates to decontamination of the radiation, that's what they're telling you they got. It's worse. It's always worse than what they tell you. Okay, so the operators of the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant, Tokyo Electric Power Company, has stopped using its systems to decontaminate the radioactive water. Uh, Japanese broadcasters are saying. Why? Because the advanced liquid processing system has been utilized to liquidate radioactive substance for contaminated water stored at the plant. The crane to get rid of this container has stopped working. It don't work no more. Okay? It's, it broke down on Tuesday, they say. So, uh, Wednesday, yesterday, they stopped operating all three of these systems at the facility. The company officials say the system may take a long time to restart. So what does that mean? That means more radiation will spill and leak into the atmosphere, into the ground, and into the water. The ca container where the radioactive substances are stored has to be replaced when it fills up. So what's going to happen? Uh, the, we're, we're folks, this thing is getting uglier by the minute. 
Radiation is, is levels are already being spiking on the west coast of America. It's already being seen when it snowed this past few days ago when the snow came down across America. Radiation levels were up in the snow. We realize that the, the, this nation, the world is bleeding. The world is dying. Are you serious? Now, those of you, God bless everybody that loves the earth and loves wants to keep the earth clean. I'm all for it. But let me just say to the tree huggers out there, you know what? You can hug all the trees you want and try to save them all. You can't save this planet. I'm all for keeping things clean and doing our best with the environment. But just trust me, you can't run around. Your God cannot be Mother Earth. You cannot cling to trees and hug them. If you're going to hug a tree, you better hug the tree of life, Jesus Christ. You better come to the tree of life because that's the only one that's going to be standing when this world is over. Are you saved? Are you born again? Are you going up when the Lord comes? Or are you going to be left behind to face the wrath of God that will be poured out on this planet and then face the judgment? Are you saved? Please. Christ loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So we're watching, we're studying the signs. When, when it says, that I sit you a watchman on the wall, he wasn't talking about running around judging and fruit inspecting your brothers and sisters in Christ. When the Lord put somebody a watchman on the wall, he said to watch and pray because you can see the sword coming or the destruction coming. And if you fail to warn my people, I will require their blood on your hands. I'm doing my best to tell you that time is running out. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. It's time to be saved.